Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Loretta. In today's video, I am going to be, going to be assembling um, this kit that I got um, from Polka Art Studio. So I was on Etsy and I was scrolling through looking for some printables and I came across this little shop called Polka Art Studio and I found uh, the Apothecary Folio and that piqued my interest. So I was having a look at that and then in the description for the um, for the demo for the product, they have a, a link to their YouTube channel where they put the kit together. And then I also came across um, the Apothecary's Miniature Treasures and that's what this is. So I thought that we would assemble it together. So I first wanted to go through all of the pages that I printed. So um, when you go to their website, I'll put a link below and you sign up for the newsletter, you get this free um, project, this free printable. So I thought that that was very nice of them and um, I printed it off and let's get started. So. Uh, I use cardstock. Um, I don't know the weight of this because I purchased it a while back and I don't have the the um, the wrapping anymore um, and I only have a few papers left but this is what I have so this is what I use and this is sort of a um, like an off-white it's not a white white and I printed it on um, with a high um, on the highest quality uh, I think card greeting card was the setting up on greeting card and then high quality so I think that the images actually came out very very nice Okay, so this is going to be um, the cover, and then this is going to be the back cover. These are the shelves and the wall behind the shelves. This is the mini notebook that goes um, on the inside cover. This is the pocket, and then you assemble this mini notebook, and that goes inside. It all makes sense once I start putting it together. And here's some more pages for the mini notebook. These are the miniature notebooks that go on the shelves. Um, inside the book. So this is will be the cover and back cover and these are all the inside pages. That's the first one. And then this is the back, uh, the backdrop on the inside. This will be the sides of the box. Um, this is where you glue the cover image on. So this is basically the front. And then uh, we have all of the miniatures. So there's two of each and um, I have to fussy cut these and then I'm going to so this is one piece, I just uh, stick it on the back, stick them, you know, together. And these are going to be very interesting to fussy cut, look at these little guys. <laughs> and this is the other miniature book. Okay, so I'm going to get started on the cutting. I'm going to go to use my paper trimmer um, for most of it so I can get nice clean lines. And then um, like these ones, for instance, I'm going to fussy cut them, obviously. And I'm going to also ink uh, the edges of most of these, um, just the stuff that, you know, you'll see. I'm not sure if I need to ink. This will be on the inside, so I probably don't need to ink that, but I am definitely going to ink um, the outsides of um, all of the cutouts. Okay, I'm going to do that, and then I will come right back. I am back. I have cut all my pieces. I have inked most of my pieces, and I've also scored my pieces. So I don't have a scoreboard, so what I did was, um, I've seen a few different methods, so I tried using a ruler and um, my folder, and it just it wasn't getting a nice crisp um, score line so I decided uh, to try using my uh, paper trimmer because it has this groove here so um, see here I left one so I need to score all of these all of these parts here so I just went like that the only thing is I have to keep moving it down I'm I, I could buy a scoreboard but I, I don't feel that I you would use it that often so for right now, I'm just going to do this, and if I find that I'm needing, you know, I'm working on projects where I need a scoreboard, then I will purchase one for sure. Um, okay, so there we go. Now, I don't know if it's going to pick this up, if you can see those lines there. Well, that one's a little bit off. Let's fix this one. <laughs> I'm just going to get right in there. Okay, now let's put this aside. I have all my pieces um, together and organized. So I'm going to pull this off and what I'm going to be using is, uh, well, I used um, Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Um, there's some pieces that um, I may not have inked yet, so I'll keep this out in case I notice that. I have um, this double-sided tape. I'm not sure how thick it is. I bought this at Michael's on sale. I think I've only used it a couple times. Oh, it's quite thin. Okay, that's good. And then I also have this. I mean, the video she uses double-sided tape, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, and then I have these little uh, like raised dots for um, the miniatures uh, and I do need a glue stick which I don't have so I'm gonna go grab that
Okay, I got my glue stick here. Oh, sorry, that's my chair. <laughs> and I also got my fabric tack. Sorry, it's not fabric. Fabric tack. It's fabric fusion. This is a, um, a little bit cheaper than the fabric tack brand, and I find that it works just as well. And I need a ribbon, so I also got my ribbons uh, right here, and uh, I will choose one when I need it. I might use something lacy. I also uh, need this to tie the little miniature books together, but we don't need that right now, so we get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to start with this piece here, and I am going to stick the covers on. So this goes here, and this one goes here. Next, we're going to fold our score pieces over. Our next step will be to glue this piece on. Um, I am going to fold it first, fold it in because that's how I'm get these folds just right. There we go. I'm just gonna sharpen the edges a little and this side as well. And I'm going to glue these sides down and get this piece on. Now I want to make sure that this folds properly. See, it needs to be lined up, so I think it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to give it another little um, once over to seal it down. Is coming along. <laughs> All right, so next is going to be this piece, and this is glue this side down, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So I am going to um, fold these pieces and then stick this onto here. That took quite a while, so I just did it um, off camera because I was going to speed it up, but I <laughs> it would have been a lot of footage to speed up. So um, it's all in place, and I'm just going to stick it back here. And I think I'm going to use um, a little bit of the fabric fusion for this one. Next step is 
get this pocket on to this side and um, I'm going to use my fabric glue for this. Okay, let's work on the shelves. So the instructions say for the shelves to do from um, biggest to smallest. Uh, we don't need that quite yet. Uh, so from biggest to smallest would be uh, this one first and then this one. And then we got this one. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> It's a little chilly in here. Um, and then, oh, actually, no, probably this one and then this one. Okay, but what we got to do is um, get our shelves. So this is the background for the shelves. This is the shelves. And we're going to fold them like this. And then this one goes in as well. And it's going to stick on just like that. So I'm going to work on that. I did realize that I have been putting these ones backwards, so this is when I put the proper way. <laughs> um, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I could probably actually fix it if I really wanted to. I don't know how. Well, you know what? Let's just leave it. I'm going to put all the little miniatures on there anyways, and it'll add some character. It is totally fine. We are just going to leave that. Okay, now this last one is going to go here. Um, doo -doo -doo. It seems that it's a little bit tight. I'm wondering if I should trim it a little. Let me see. I'm not even really sure that we need to put that one there actually because this is going to go down there. So let's get this folded and it folds just like so because we're going to make it into a little box like that and then it's going to flop in there. So I'm not even going to put that one on actually. Okay, let's get this glued down Then we can slide it right in there and start working on our little miniature books. Okay, we're gonna put this aside for now. So the way the books work, uh, we got our cover, which is already scored, and I'm gonna fold it like so. And this glues together, let's see how we're gonna do that. So fold these pieces, I've already inked them as well. That's the spine. And I do believe, oh, I folded it wrong. That's okay, I'll just reverse it. And that goes in, that goes like this. So I'm going to glue all these together. There is an extra one here, but I think that it might be too bulky. So I'm just going to glue these ones onto the cover and leave out the last one. And then maybe on the second book, I'll put the, um, I'll put all the pages together just to, just to test, just to see if it's too bulky. That glues right onto there like that. And then this part. Oops 
glues right on the back like this. So then it is, once it's all together, let's flatten this out just a smidgen. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. Sometimes it's hard to, they're not exactly even, but we're gonna like put a tie around it anyways. So, and then you have the miniature book. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming and put the uh, second one um, together. It's the exact same. Um, and then I will come right back. Second miniature is all put together. So I'm just gonna put our two books off to the side and I'm gonna put, um, I'm just gonna put the glue on top of them so that they stay kind of flat. Okay, now we are gonna work on our little miniatures. So uh, I fussy cut these and then I inked the sides to get rid of some of the white. There we go. I also inked this one a little plan. I thought it might like look weird because it's supposed to be green, but I got rid of the white and it's fine. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not that serious. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do here is get some glue on there. I know I probably use too much glue. I just, I don't know why I always have. I've always been that type of person. And get that matched up as much as possible. And then I can re-ink too if, if I want, which I think I'm gonna do just a little bit there. Okay, there's that. And then we have some of this out of the way. Some of these other little things. This bottle right there. And this, I'm gonna continue to um, glue all these together. Next step is to take these little bubble stickers because we want it to be have like a 3D effect and, and raise it. So I'm just going to put a couple of these on each of these pieces. My hands were so sticky, it was very challenging to put those on. I probably should have rinsed them off first, <laughs> but I didn't. And will I learn from this? No, nope, because I'm just going to continue. <laughs> all right, we are on to our little notebook. Um, so I have my all here to punch some holes. And this is quite simple. Um, let me see. So we got a smaller one up there. And then we have this one. So it starts with this page, and then I'm going to put this one, and this one, and then a pattern, and then another line, and then a pattern, and then a line. Oh, and that goes with this one. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, punch my holes in the first few. I think right about there. Let's see what we're going to use. I think, I think these bronze ones are perfect. I'm going to keep this out because I'm also going to put some brads on those smaller ones. So, even though I punched holes in here, it's still challenging. <laughs> there we go. That should go through now. here. Mm. Gosh, if it doesn't line up like perfectly, just can't get it through. I'm still struggling. They're not exactly even, but it's okay. It's grungy. It's rustic. <laughs> There we are. I'm going to put this one together. I think this will be nice as the cover page. And this goes at the top. So, um, let me see here. You can put some brads in there. 
I think maybe just one at the top here. And it's a little off center, but we can live with it. If I fuss with it too much, I'm gonna make the hole too big. Okay, so there's our two notebooks and those will go right in there. I'm gonna get some string here and just to put some little ties uh, around these. I think just some plain string like this is fine. I'm gonna cut a couple pieces. Just loose, just a loose one like that. And I'll trim this down. Make another loose one here. And our book's almost completed. Oh, sorry if you can hear that music in the background, but that's John listening to music. Okay. Sneak that off. Okay, good. He turned down. I thought I was going to have to knock on the wall. <laughs> I'm recording. Okay, let's get these in here. Oh, we have a little guide here. See how it's supposed to look. So we will use, we'll put this one in the middle. We'll start with that. I think I already got, oh no, that one. I have to take the little backing off there. But, oh, these didn't stick amazingly. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of glue on these as well. Go. Oh, I forgot this one here. Fold that one and I'm going to glue it that together. Put some little stickers on that one. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this when I'm done because I don't have room for more things. Like I have so much stuff. I'm trying to pare down not just my craft supplies but all of my everything so I think I will just get this away. I was thinking what would be cute is I'm going to the library tomorrow and I was thinking of just putting a little note in it saying you know whoever finds this keep it and have a great day <laughs> you know why not. Oh okay we'll get some glue on these guys. I'm just gonna do it exactly like I mean you don't have to you can put it in any which way you want, but I'm just going to do exactly like the suggested photo. Ooh, this one still has it. Sometimes the backing sticks and it doesn't. These are from the dollar store, so you get what you pay for, right? That one, yeah, perfect. And we are almost done. Get this last one on. This was so much fun. I'm so glad that I did this. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to put it together. I don't want to keep it. I don't need more stuff. I don't have space for more stuff. <laughs> I just wanted to make it. I didn't want to keep it. All right, so this goes here and that goes there. Oh, oh, sorry, my camera's tilted. Oh my goodness. Let's fix that little malfunction. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here it is. Oh.
Thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you please take just a moment to give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of this type of content. Have a great day. Bye-bye.